hello everyone first of all i would like to thanks all of you because you have all liked my videos and given the positive response so it's motivate me to make such more videos for you so that it can help you in your studies and one request to you please watch the full videos so that you can connect all the things nicely one request to you all my viewers that is before watching the videos please uh, read the lessons and after reading the lessons you watch the video that means you can connect the explanation and the uh, things given in your book very nicely see earth is composed of two things that is continents and ocean now see the word composed means made of um, composed means made of earth is made of we can say very easily earth is made of two things that is continent and ocean whereas the continents is comprises of 29 percent and ocean is 71 percent ocean means water bodies and continent means land masses okay now see continents land masses i have already said there is plains hills mountains river belly deserts all the land masses are called continents and ocean ocean means uh, we can say water bodies that is river ocean sea it's all are all all are oceans now see the next paragraph that is this uh, these features of the land surface and the ocean bottoms are the result of certain processes operating through the ages that is very simple land surface and the ocean bottoms change after a long process it means day by day this land surface and the ocean bottoms change how it changes it change due to two forces these two forces we will study in the next section that that is these two forces are exogenic forces and endogenic forces because of these two forces i have already said that is land surface and the bottom of the ocean changes because of these two forces these two forces are exogenic forces and endogenic forces now see what is exogenic forces and endogenic forces now see exogenic forces exogenic forces are those forces which operate outside the earth that means we can see the result we can see the consequences of the uh, forces that is outside the earth or we, we can see the forces that is, the forces which we can see that is called exogenic forces for example sunshine wind a uh, rainfall a uh, river how a river how river works uh, re because of rivers you can see the soil erosions glacier and sea waves sea waves because of sea waves you can see uh, the erosion taken place near the sea because of this sea waves okay now see endogenic forces it is uh, opposite to exogenic forces that is exogenic forces we can see outside the earth whereas endogenic forces is operates inside the earth. we cannot see endogenic forces because the forces took place inside the earth we cannot see we can say we cannot see opposite to exogenic forces for example earthquake volcanic eruption earthquake the uh, result of earthquake we can see but how the earthquake took place inside the earth we cannot see Volc same as volcanic eruption with the result of volcanic eruption we can see but how volcanic eruption took place how the process is taken we cannot see now see the next works of a river in this topic mainly to be explained is that the works of a river are generally classified into three groups there is erosion transportation and deposition all the rivers more or less perform these activities that means all the river performs these three activities more or less same 
I have already said that is uh, a river is an exogenic forces please don't make fun of my um, drawing my drawing is not so perfect see this is a river for example this is a river first of all what the river will do river will erode that is erosion R river will erode some particles you can say land and whatever the things the river will erode and with the current of the river with the speed of the river always the river will float from uh, follow follow from up to down that is the towards the downward side the river will take whatever the things it will get on the way it will transport to the lower areas to the lower side that means we have found transportation a river will transport and where the current of the water that is speed of the water is less the river will deposit the river will deposit that means more or less all the rivers perform these three activities first of all it will erode then it will transport to some uh, some distance and after some distance where the speed of the river is less then it will deposit that is erosion transportation and deposition more or less these three activities will be performed by uh, the river you can see how some portion of land is being eroded by water because the current of the water is high that's why some portion of the land is being eroded by water this erosion is called hydraulic action because no man no one is performing the action be only because of water the current of the water is high that's why some portion of the land is being eroded by water this is called hydraulic action see next works of wind wind is also an exogenic forces because we can see we cannot see the wind but the action of wind we can see that's why wind is also called as exogenic forces wind changes the earth surface mainly in desert areas because in desert areas the surface of the land is soft is very loose that's why it can easily be flown away by air that's why you can see the sand dunes low because of the action of wind sand dunes are being formed you can see in sandberg in white desert of egypt see when the wind forcefully moved it took some portion of the sand that's why it took a shape of a mushroom that's why this happened in the next picture you can see yarding when the what yard moves horizontally then the, the soft particles uh, fly away with the air and it took the shape of yarding next works of glacier now the question arises what is a glacier see we can say glacier are also water but not normal water that is when the ice melt slowly slowly and it took the form of water that is called glacier and when the glacier follow towards downward side then it takes some particles along with the glacier uh, water that is glacier along with the glacier and these particles are called moraine this particle are called moraine when glacier took some particles when washed away some particles because it is very normal when the water will f flow from upward to downward sides whatever the things it will get on the way it will washed away these small small particles which are been washed away by water these are called moraine